Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be my May favorites video. I know I'm like really, really late. But I have favorites that I need to share with you guys for the month of May. And I don't care if it's the last day of June, I am still uploading my May favorites. Okay, the first thing I wanna show you is this Ole Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster with Potent Vitamin C Complex. I showed this in my beauty haul I got at Sephora. My skin hasn't been breaking out too much anymore. I mean, right now it's kind of broken out because I used this product and it like broke out my skin so much. So I was like, oh my god. I don't break out too much anymore, but I do have all like the redness and the scars from like previous breakouts. I think it's so unfair because I'll put on foundation and I see how smooth my skin is. But the only problem is that I have all this redness. So I needed something to get rid of the redness. And on the Sephora website, this Truth Serum has really good reviews. It has collagen and everything. I'm not really like focused on that. I'm focused on the vitamin C because vitamin C... It's supposed to really brighten up your skin and people were saying that this is like amazing like it really changed up your skin overnight I don't use this at night. I have in the past, but I prefer to use my argan oil So I, I don't really like using anything else. I don't wear this every day I only wear this underneath my foundation because I don't like how it looks like by itself So I just don't use it alone But the times that I have been using it under my foundation I realized that it really makes my skin brighter clearer. It eliminates the redness and the scars and now my skin actually looks good without foundation on most days, except for that time of the month. But you learn to live with that. The only thing that I do notice is that when I wear this, it will give me like a little cystic bump. Which sucks completely because it will eliminate my scars, but it will give me a new pimple. But it's not like a pimple pimple, it's like a cystic bump. And all I have to do is make sure I don't try like squeezing a cystic bump because that will like really scar my skin. So we're good. This is only half an ounce of product, but a little goes a long way. It has a pump, so all you have to do is squeeze it once and you're good to go. Another favorite for this month is the L'Oreal Paris Youth Coast Texture Perfector Day and Night Cream. I've used this before in the past and I really do like this moisturizer. I used to use this day and night. I don't use it day and night anymore. I only use it underneath my foundation as well. I don't use this by itself. After I put on the Truth Serum, I'll use this on top of it before applying my primer and before applying my foundation. And it really gives my skin a nice finish because it is really smooth and it gives your skin a really nice texture. But I don't like using this as a moisturizer during the day and I only use my argan oil at night. So yeah, I used to be crazy over this before in the past. I just stopped repurchasing it because I've been experimenting with other moisturizers and other products on my skin. But anyway, moving on. I want to give a shout out to my e.l.f. Professional Foundation Brush. I've had this little guy for a long time. It was kind of like one of the first brushes I've ever bought. This is one of the e.l.f. $1 brushes and I actually like this. But you guys know that ever since I started using my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, I've been loving that and I ditched everything else to apply foundation and I've just been using that. And I recently bought the Beauty Blender, which I've also been loving so much. But in all these days that I've been wearing foundation, I stopped using those sponges for a little while and I started using this. It gives me more coverage than the sponges do. Because, you know, of course, like with the sponges, it's more like buildable coverage, but this is so quick to just, you know, apply a whole bunch of foundation on your skin. And a little goes a long way with this brush. It doesn't really like drink up your foundation like some other brushes do because you already know those brushes be drinking up all your foundation it doesn't make it look streaky well at least not for me but I remember when I first started using it it would look a little bit streaky it depends on how you use it and you have to make sure you blend it out well and depending on your foundation and everything so the next thing that I want to mention are these NYX soft matte lip cream and I've been wearing this so much in the month of May and I'm still wearing them now these are so nice first of all they smell amazing the texture is nice it gives a nice matte finish but it's not a drying finish which is like the best thing you can ever ask for in a matte lipstick well lip cream I'm wearing a these Ababa right now and I think this is like my most most favorite one but I really do like Ibiza as well I'm probably pronouncing them wrong but it's okay Right. Yeah, this is the one I have on my lips and this is what it looks like swatched. That was a really bad swatch. Wow, sorry. And this is what Ibiza looks like swatched. It has more of like a corally, orangey finish. And I use these like almost every single day in the month of May. What I like to do is apply them onto my lips and then take a tissue and just like wipe it off a little bit like that. And it gives like a nice soft like natural looking finish like it literally looks like my lips are this pink and then i would put like chapstick over it and it would look so natural another thing that i've been loving for the month of may is this nail polish this is a jordana nail polish in creamy fuchsia and it's the one that i have on my nails right now which i have to repaint because girl look at these nails these nails are not on fleek but it's okay it's so pretty and tropical unfortunately jordana nail polishes just don't last a long long time no matter if you put up a base coat and then like a top coat on top this color is so pretty that i don't 
care if it's chipping. I will just paint over it. Now my last product favorite for the month of May has been my Makeup Forever HD Powder. I've had this little guy for so long and I am now starting to realize how amazing this is. I've used it before like to set my under eye concealer. This is the powder that I needed in my life. I know that a lot of people say that this type of powder gives like a white cast. If you apply it well and you make sure you blend it in really well with your skin, it won't give a white cast. I use this powder for my senior portrait picture and no white cast. But one thing that I do want to say is that when you put this powder on your skin, so smooth, so velvety, so poreless, you just look flawless. Alright, so that was my last product favorite for the month of May. And I don't have any movie favorites, but I do have a TV show series favorite. Okay, so I've been loving the show Gossip Girl. And I started watching Gossip Girl the summer before my freshman year of high school. And I never really finished it because school started and one episode is like 40 minutes long and that really consumes a lot of your time. But now I'm watching it again. I started watching it from season 3 but I realized I already watched season 3 and season 4. I actually didn't remember that I left off on season 5. But I'm on season 5 right now and I love that show. Hashtag chair. Even though it's kind of irrelevant right now but hashtag chair. If you watch Gossip Girl, then you know what I mean. But now on to my music favorites! Alright guys, so those were all my favorites for the month of May. Hope you guys liked this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Hey everyone, I'm back with a new video. Okay, wait, no, obviously you're back with a new video, girl, bye. I know I'm super late, but this la... Oh my god, I can't even speak. First things first... I'm so mad right now, I can't even deal. Why did I put this here? Okay, the first thing I want to show you is the Ole Henriksen. I keep stepping on stuff. I want to give a shout out to my e.l.f. professional foundation, but... But... But, 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 okay. Oh, shit. Alright, so, okay. Oh, girl, chill. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> wow, fail. <sighs> Alright guys, so those oh I'm sweating. Ugh.